from the Zen garden. Actually, people are kind of doing meditation while they are doing the maintenance, especially you see lines here. You know, so that means this garden had been raked. So the raking is considered as also Zen practice because this is a good way to learn how to be in the moment. At the same time, you can learn about non-permanency because, you know, for instance, when you put your rake, that's your present moment, and you start putting the lines, and those lines are your past. So if you have focus on the each moment, you can create perfect lines. But if not, in a way, you can make a mess in a way. <laughs> then even you make a perfect line, but probably like this afternoon, we're going to have a heavy rain. So that's case, line going to be gone. So that's also kind of, you know, you can learn about the idea of non-permanency. Mm -hmm. So that's the original purpose of Zen Garden. But uh, when garden design, is kind of too complicated. People can simply focus on the raking anymore. So, the, you know, that's why garden design is simple. And then, when the you know garden became like simple, like it looks like abstract art, so people start treating like you know one of those. Then people put more importance on the interpretation. So that's why you know uh, in these days people put more importance on the design, but originally. Actually, how you maintain was actually more important part. They unfortunately people just focus on the design, so sometimes they just glue it like double. Mm. So.